Welcome to Defense Universe. If I ask you, what is the deadliest weapon of the 20th century? If you're a Nolan fanboy, then perhaps your answer will be atomic bomb. But 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 the answer is a big no. While atom bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki killed approx two lock people, but there's an another weapon which killed far more. Yes, I'm talking about the legendary AK-47, or Automat Kalashnikova 1947. If you ask any gun lover about it, perhaps he will write a poetry about how it is easy light to carry, easy to use and reliability under harsh conditions, ranging from waterlogged jungles to Middle Eastern sandstorms. It was so good that its inventor, Mikhail Kalashnikov himself once said during the Vietnam War, American soldiers would throw away their M16 to grab AK-47 and bullets for it from dead Vietnamese soldiers. It is a gun which can fire 7.62 mm high velocity. 600 rounds per minute that can destroy the whole area of a human body. A K-47 is perhaps the most widespread firearm in the world. Carried by American enemies and allies alike since 1947, it is the standard infantry weapon for 106 countries. Even countries like Zimbabwe, Burkina Faso, Mozambique uses a K-47 in their national flag to symbolize their freedom struggle. There are an estimated 100 million AK-47 of a number of variations around the world. But if these legendary rifles are so easy to operate, affordable and highly reliable yet effective, then why countries like India, a rising superpower in South Asia, is switching their standard rifles to AK-03? Historically, India is one of the biggest operator of AK rifles across all variant. In 1990, India adopted its indigenously designed and produced INSIS rifles for army. INSIS was initially built with features borrowed from several different rifle and was not made to meet army's specific requirement. This amalgamated design while serving the army for over 30 years has started to fall behind the needs of modern warfare. In recent years, the rifle has come under increasing scrutiny with several issues surfacing from frontline forces that have inhibited operational capabilities. Another big reason for switching to new rifle is India's strategy shift to one bullet, one kill. It has been observed that militants in Kashmir are drugged, which leads to them being capable of taking a 5.5645 mm bullet and still being able to fight. The issue with the existing AK-47 is, Army can't use state-of-the-art scope on it, which is a basic thing in modern military. Also other flaws of the AK include the excessive smoke the AK emits when firing. This is not a good thing for a main combat rifle, where chances are, it will be used for recon where keeping a low profile is absolutely needed. Also experts have doubt about AK's accuracy problem. Due to these and growing threats of to-front war, India had first announced AK-03 deal in 2018. After long quest for Indian Army's modern assault rifle and roadblocks over price negotiation, India and Russia have finally begun the joint production of AK-203 rifles at a factory in Amethy, UP in January 2023. More than six lock rifles are to be manufactured in India for India's armed forces and this GV will also export AK-03 to, to other countries. Induction of these new modern assault rifles will completely change India's firepower in both China and Pak border. Now if you want to know why Chinese stealth fighter is a scam, then check out this video.